Hi, and welcome back to Glassboxed, my top tech tips video series. Today we will discuss what I think are the top five unit testing frameworks. We will discuss what these frameworks are and how they are used. So first, what is a unit testing framework? A unit testing framework is essentially a framework that allows you to write tests on a much lower level compared to say tools such as web automation or GUI automation. Unit frameworks allow you to write tests at a much lower level, i.e. allowing you to write tests which act on a more method level as opposed to on a full user journey level. For instance, let's just say you have a web page where you log in into something, uh, some kind of login portal for instance. Unit testing around that may involve passing in some credentials to a method, completely bypassing the front end and then getting some kind of expected result back from that method. You could almost say that that is a unit test. Another way to identify something as a unit test is a test which has absolutely no front end components whatsoever. So without further ado, let's begin. JUnit. JUnit is a Java open source standard testing framework for Java. It allows you to write tests of various different kinds on various different levels and also has its own assertion classes, suits, and the ability to define categories. JUnit is potentially one of the most famous unit testing libraries available to Java. It also has a pretty good community where what the community asks for is usually what they get. So with each new iteration of JUnit, you do actually end up getting quite a nice number of features. NUnit. NUnit is the equivalent of JUnit, but for .NET frameworks. It's also an open source framework, which means it's freely available. NUnit was effectively ported from JUnit. So what that means is it's effectively a copy of JUnit, but to be used in .NET frameworks. That means you get the beauty of using all of those assertions, all of those suits and categories and so on, all of the features that JUnit provides, but in NUnit on .NET testing frameworks. TestNG. TestNG is, again, another Java open source framework, which is pretty much derived from JUnit and NUnit. What that means is, it's a framework that is similar to JUnit, but not the same. TestNG is probably the other framework that people use if they're not using JUnit. That might not be strictly true, but in most cases you'll find that Java developers or technical testers, when they write assertions or when they need to write tests, it's usually JUnit or TestNG. TestNG covers, as well as unit testing, it also allows you to cover functional testing, end-to-end testing, i.e. E2E, and integration testing. TestNG also supports the concept of a data-driven testing framework. What that means is it allows you to define your data in external sources and then grab that data in into your test. RSpec. RSpec is a Ruby-only testing framework. Again, open source. It supports the idea of a behavior-driven development environment. What that means is it allows you to define your test in an almost English readable language in that it allows you to define your test with a given then when like scenario almost using gherkin like language. Similar to other unit test frameworks RSpec provides you with the ability to mock and stub data. Mocking and stubbing is the concept of filling in for missing components when writing test. If you're writing tests in say Ruby RSpec is a good choice to go with when you want to use unit frameworks to write low-level unit tests. PHP unit. PHP unit is effectively the unit testing framework for PHP products. PHP unit is an open source framework and like all other frameworks or rather many other frameworks supports the concept of mock and stubs. PHP unit also allows you to test proxies, which is a little bit unique in that it allows you to set up data to be able to test proxies. What that means is you are able to test the redirection of data 
via proxies if you have a need for it. And that's it for this video folks, thanks for watching. Hi guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you already haven't, hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with my latest videos which I release every Wednesdays and Sundays. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Google, links in the description below. Until next time, ciao.